Shame. She actually did a really good job there. She can look a little deceptive because Routliff, occasionally on those pickups, she, with her body language, she looks kind of casual, but she always, she, her hands are so good. <laughs> that she can choose for, choose from, and that's why it's hard to be able to predict where she's going to go. Most players will go right down the center of the court, but she has that nice touch. It's good serving from Siegmunds. Easy put away. first ever tournament they played back in 2020. Oh, great hands, looking sharp early on here. Dabrowski and Routliff. Sigmund almost play similar styles, in my opinion, as far as the good reflexes, the use of the angle. And smart for her to take this one on the rise because Jabrowski looked almost. Yes, yeah, very nicely done from Gabby Dabrowski there job of committing to this poach here, Dabrowski. Wasn't the cleanest volley, but her court position was what was so effective. She was so... Almost made it. Unbelievable hands from Laura Siegmund. Sick one. That was incredible. And you can see Siegmund just eyeing where both players are in the court and really just watch. Yes. It's a wonderful return, wasn't it, from for a moment, I thought that return was going to go long, but just had enough topspin, hit the back of the line, and that's the time. <laughs> Smart for Outlift to take that ball out of the air, just made that. Gabby Dabrowski was doing that, and if you look up at the big screen, you could potentially actually see what the hand signals are. Certainly at that point, anyway, just whilst the, the server is getting ready to, ready to deliver the serve. Oh oh, just picks that one up oh on the half volley. Oh Very nonchalantly done. Beautiful 
beautiful point. A game of chess almost there. And that Dabrowski on the last shot basically just had to pick and choose whether she was going to cover the middle or the line. And left that middle ball open. It was good recognition. Possibly that Erin Ratliff was going to make a move. I have to say, the beginning of this match so far, this is the most I've seen. Oh, wow. wow. Shot of the match so far. Ratliff. And you got to predict that she's going to take this one down the line, but it was because she didn't back off. He's just sold her a bit of a dummy there. 14, 13. And it could cost them here. Break point. Hey! Ooh, that is a good leave. just nothing on that second serve was there just rolled in at yes. 68 miles an hour allowed Laura Siegman to go after it when both opponents stay back she's good at just hitting down on the ball instead of trying to go for the angle too much she can Beautifully done from Erin Ratliff. Just over eight minutes of very hard work. They save another break point and are a game away here. Well, Fear is very solid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good move in the end from Laura Siegmund. Bit of miscommunication maybe from Dabrowski and Ratliff. Always all over the place trying to get that ball. I love that she's so active, trying to look for that ball at all time, but it's it's tough to find Vera when. Wow, that is so good. That's beautifully done. It's a really smart choice from Routliff. Segments. Never easy when you. It's well put away. And a nice stress free hold for Dabrowski and Routliff. Two points away from the set. Being so committed, especially right off the return, just kept going straight at Zvonareva with the pace. Uh -oh. A little tentative on the return, yeah. I think Sia try and hit that return, actually. She feels very comfortable hitting, and it's not an easy one. You don't see many players be able to hit. Oh. What 
to return though from Vera's Monareva. Did a great job of just not hesitating on this one, even if she felt like Routliff was inching. That was a great second serve of 90 miles an hour, but the depth was really good on that second serve to get Dabrowski. Oh, what an opportunity that was fun. for Gabby Dabrowski, just snatched at it. We have seen that Six time four. and time again over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. This time just couldn't quite find. <laughs> I loved actually that chip and charge from Dabrowski. That's what you want to do in these big moments is that net is just excellent placement a lot of height on that return so just gave Sigmund decent second serve from right left maybe caught in two minds It's long. And Gabby Dabrowski and Aaron Ratliff have set closer to their first Grand Slam title together. to win it, that volley from Gabby Dabrowski. Oh, it's the perfect shot to go for, but it's not the easiest to be able to get the placement on this stretch from Dabrowski. Knew exactly where her opponents were. What a reflex. From Gabby Dabrowski, what an opening game she has played in particular here. If you might want to go directly at Dabrowski here, but she, her hands are so good and she doesn't mind that pace. I probably. Nice change up on the serve. 15 14. In that game, Gabby Dabrowski and Aaron Ratliff, they didn't have a single look at a break point. Had to come through three sets in the second round as well, 6-3 in the third there. Oh. Well, one clean forehand return up the line oh, from Svonareva, followed by backhand from Siegmund. Strowski on both forehand and the backhand. Good job from Ratliff as well to hold her ground on that down the line. Oh, 
Yep. And she held that one well, Svonareva. This world can be the Bravesky. Yes. Dabrowski here again, trusting her movement so much. This ball knew Sigmund was difficult to go for the lob, so did a good job of closing the net. from Sigmund and Svonareva. Dabrowski and Routliff just been so solid from the start of the second set. Dabrowski's been moving so much at the net. Well, went pretty big that with the seconds. And that could be that. Bit of history on the line for both of them. Kind of floated there. Easy put away for Lara Siegmund. Yeah. Okay. Sigmund Not done with yet. Vonareva. Lara Siegmund and Vera Zvonareva. that she found there, Svonareva. Yeah, left the gap, and Svonareva exploited it. Svonareva, that's the side that she can hold a little bit longer, wait for her opponent, just make that slight inch towards the side. Such a good job, Svonareva. That ball oh, kind of team. dipping at the toes of Gabby Dabrowski. Yeah, Tess, her other sister, actually a Canadian Paralympic swimmer. It's a wonderful <sighs> volley to finish the point <laughs> off for Gabby Dabrowski. <laughs> That's very well done. It's a good second serve, just kept driving forward. Good volley. Again, we saw how effective it was how she actually hit through the forehand return earlier yes. in the game. Siegmund and Svonareva. Yeah. Yeah. What an 
absolutely crucial hold that could be. And another really good deep serve from Aaron Radcliffe. Good overhead put away from Dabrowski. They are one game away. the net you can see how much he wants to get that ball so it's perfect placement on that lob I just surprised Siegmund and Svonareva as well not a shot that Aaron Routliffe hits that off in that lob Ooh. it just skid off the line there Seemed like it The second championship point. It's good reflexes from Routliff as well, but for Zickman to be ready for that ball to come back. She just got better and better throughout this match for Aaron Ratcliffe. Game second match, Dabrowski and Vakli, just had too long. Just seven, six, six, three. After they played their first ever tournament together, Gabriela Dabrowski and Aaron Ratcliffe are the 2023 women's doubles champions. A staggering achievement. And the reaction from Erin Reitliff especially says it all.